Action three, move. Achievement is dependent on continually moving forward. As critical as goals are for you being able to move forward, it's important to understand that goals don't get done on their own. Goals don't move forward unless we move forward. But just moving forward is not enough. You need to be moving forward regularly. And the reason for this is because inconsistent forward movement is the biggest killer of success and achievement. Let me unwrap this a little bit. Let me explain. I think we all know that it takes a lot more effort and time and energy to get something started than it does to keep something going. Now, in principle, this is based on the law of physics, specifically the laws for creating momentum. For example, a rocket will use most of its fuel to get into orbit, only needing a small fraction of that fuel to keep itself in orbit because it has momentum. And the principles of momentum can be used concerning your success and achievement. And we can really explain it as simple as this. Success leads to success. What's important to realize is that when you succeed with one action, it's much easier to succeed again and you're more likely to succeed with the next action as long as that next action comes relatively soon after the first. So if you want to achieve more, you need to move forward daily. Yeah, daily. I do realize that daily forward motion may seem like a challenge or maybe seem impossible. However, let me ask you a very, very simple question. Would you like to improve your success and achievement in the upcoming year by, let's say, 100%? When I ask people that question, most people will say, well, sure, I'd like to do that. But when you ask most people whether or not they believe it's possible, only about 5% of people tell you that they believe that they are capable. Let me ask you another question. Do you believe it's possible for you to improve tomorrow in some area of your life by, I don't know, let's say 1%? You know, when I ask people that question, almost everybody will tell me, well, sure, I could do that. Well, let's think about something for a second. Could you do 1% the day after that? Most people would say, yeah, I could do that. What about the day after that? Yeah, I could do 1% a day. Well, here's the thing I want you to think about. If you just do 1% a day, you're creating a habit of achievement. And think about this for a moment. If you're improving 1% a day within less than 90 days, you've gone well over 100% because of the compounded actions of all of your previous successes. All you need is 1% improvement a day to have an explosion in your success and achievement. Now, don't get caught up in the 1% specifically, well, how do I calculate it? Focus more on this. Every single day, have an improvement. Or every single day, learn something different or every single day, step forward just a little bit more than you did the day before. And what you're gonna find is you're gonna start to get in the habit of achieving, the habit of succeeding, and you're gonna be able to do more and experience more than you ever dreamed of. And all it takes is 1%. People will ask me, well, John, where do I start with 1%? Well, you start off by doing what you can, and then what's possible, and suddenly you're doing the impossible. And that's when you start to tap into that power of momentum. I want you to think about something real quick here so you can really get a hold of how powerful 1% is. Suppose that you had invested a few more minutes every single day getting better and improving in some way over the last year, or let's say over the last five years, or even the last 10 years. Think about this for just a moment. Where would you be today? How many more problems would you have solved? How much more would you have earned? How much more energy would you have had? And how much wiser would you be? 1% a day, that's all you need. In conclusion, as I mentioned earlier, success and achievement in anything is based on the choices that you make and the actions that you take. However, if you want to begin to move forward, you got to move now. I meet so many people who know what they need to do to be able to have greater success and achievement, but for whatever reason, they put off using what they know. So I would like to leave you with one final question. If you knew for sure that one idea or action could have a massive impact on your future, when do you think would be the best time to get started on that idea or action? How about next week? Or maybe next month? 
or maybe the best time to get started is when you get around to it. Look, great ideas and powerful actions don't get better with time. So if any of the ideas and actions that I've shared with you here have gotten to you, do something about making them happen right now. By the way, I almost forgot to tell you, because of the time constraints that we have here, I've only been able to share with you a very small fraction of the ideas and information about these three actions that I actually could. So what I decided to do is put together an audio only program that will outline in detail a whole lot more information that you probably want to get a hold of. Now, I'll go into details about how you can decide on a vision, specific steps to set goals, and some practical advice on how you can make that 1% a reality every single day. Now, the audio is free. If you want it, all you have to do is send an email to the following address, actions at johnva.com, and I'll be happy to send it to you. The reason why I want to do that is because I really want you to get a hold of these three actions. Because I know that, especially if you're in a situation where you're stuck, or you're thinking about how you can achieve more or succeed more in your life, these three actions, mastering them, will help you to achieve not only what you want, but give you the ability to do the impossible.